had a few people ask me. You know, they're not real familiar with board feet. What does that look like when you cut a log? How many, when you're telling me you're going to get 61 feet, board feet out of this one log, what does that pile of lumber look like? How many, how many two by sixes or two by fours or, or one buys is that? I don't, I don't understand board feet. Well, I have this little chart I use for quick reference. It's uh, uh, it's a wood miser, wood miser log roller lumber scale, and it's got a graft here and a chart which I move back and forth and bring up. This is 15 inches across the bottom, or the the smaller end of this stump is 15 inches. So I want to bring up 15. I want to go across to the length of the log, which is eight foot, eight foot three, but we'll say it's eight foot. That's saying 61 board feet right here in this one log. I want to show you what that would look like once I turn this into lumber. Um, first thing I need to do though is this log's kind of got some funky ears on it. I need to trim them off with my uh, hand chainsaw and uh, get them out of the way so the mill can clear them. But then I want to show you what that would look like. You gotta be careful and not nick the track because it tears up the chain. Hey, I believe the mill ought to clear that now. Now I'll start sawing. Show you what this pile of lumber is going to look like. Okay, here is my bar, which you can see. Here is the end of the log. Now normally, I would have the smaller end of the log at this end. This time, they're about the same size, so it doesn't really matter. Um, what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to adjust my bar up to set the pipe to take off my first slab. And I'm going to do this by bringing the bar up Which, let me raise the camera so you can get a better view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look down the edge of this bar and the side of the log all at the same time and make sure that I'm taking a slab off the whole length of the log. Some people, if it's bell shaped, bigger at one end than the other they'll take off little slabs so they can get little one inch three quarter inch boards that are short ones until they can get down to take off the whole length and which i'm thinking right about there i need to move my gloves on the far end of the log Constructing the view. Okay. I think right there is going to about do it. So now I've locked my bar. It's locked in position. Now I'm going to make my first cut. This is all after I uh, updated it with the new Dolmar setup, which I'm really liking. It's done a great job. So now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to make my first cut here. In which this step would just be repeated all the way around until you get a square cant. And a cant is pretty much a beam.
Okay, here's what I got. The time I trimmed the log down, I threw the slabs in the slab pile. Uh, I had a couple boards here that aren't conventional sizes that everybody's used to. Uh, these here are just some uh, thin pieces. They're probably 3 8 by inch and a half. I'll use them for tomato steaks, so I kept them. Does it work good? This here is not quite a 2 by 4 It's 1 and a half by 2 I kept that. I can't see throwing that out. I'll use it for something. Here I've got a 2 and a half Maybe it's two and a quarter, something like that, by six beam, by eight. All this stuff's eight foot long. Um, I got one and a half by three and a half, which is your conventional two by four. I got four of those. I got a one and a half, and I made mine actually six instead of five and a half. These would be two by sixes. And I got one, two, three, four, five of them. So, um, not too bad for one, one pine log 15 inches in diameter. Or what they call 61 board feet. 